What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with my benchmarks video of my budget Hackintosh. In case you missed it, in the video where I built this computer, the total cost of the hardware came to about $520, including the test bench. Now the price seems pretty good for what you're getting in terms of hardware, but how does it hold up in terms of benchmarks? Let's go ahead and find out. I'll be using three different benchmark applications in this video, and the first one, which I'm sure is everyone's favorite, is Geekbench. After letting Geekbench do its thing, we come out with a score of 7,974. Considering that my first generation 2.8GHz Core i7 with twice as many cores gets about 9,500, I was very impressed with the Geekbench results. For the next benchmark application, I'll be using Cinebench, which tests not only your CPU, but also your OpenGL. I'll be starting off with the OpenGL test, but I won't be showing the entire thing. While this test is running, be sure to keep an eye out for the glitchy frame rates. This will directly correspond to gaming with this system. While basic games will play just fine, any type of modern game that involves a lot of 3D movement will suffer with the onboard HD 4000 graphics. With that said, you can play a good amount of 3D games. Just expect to bring the settings of the game down to a pretty low level. Now that the OpenGL test has finished, we come out with a score of 19.76 frames per second. While this isn't great, I'm actually kind of impressed considering we're using onboard graphics. Now let's stress out our processor with the CPU test. This footage has been sped up about 15 times and took just under 2 minutes to complete. At the end of the CPU test, we got a score of 3.31 processor points. In short, this isn't a processor that you'll want to use for regular HD video production or gaming. With that said, it will be fine for occasional photo and video editing or everyday tasks. The last benchmark application I'll be using is NovaBench from the Mac App Store. This is a free benchmarking application that's a little lesser known, but still seems to do a pretty good job in terms of comparing different machines. In the end, NovaBench ends up spitting out a score of 766. For a comparison, my main Hackintosh with that first generation Core i7, 12GB of memory, and an AMD Radeon HD6850 graphics card gets about 1200 on NovaBench. Now I've said in the past that benchmarks aren't everything and that's absolutely true. It's the real world performance that counts. That said, this system is great for the average user that wants to browse the web, do some schoolwork, or discover new apps. Even Final Cut Pro 10 runs surprisingly well aside from exporting. In fact, this video was edited on this system. Be sure to let me know what you think about the performance in the comments below. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter, also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and I'll see you guys in my next video.